I wanted to write an article about 94-year-old Army veteran Frank Tamaro as he was promptly uh, and abruptly kicked out of his assisted living facility, unbeknownst to him and given less than two months notice to find another place to go. Come to find out, it wasn't just Frank that was evicted. It was over 50 other people within his assisted living facility. And some time had went by when the, the truth came out as to why all of a sudden these senior citizens were evicted so suddenly. And it's because the facility turned into a migrant shelter. They decided to pivot. They changed the name of the business and they decided to go in the direction of catering to the migrants that had suddenly come into New York City in New York State. And I want to write this article to highlight how many people aren't aware that this type of problem was actually something that you could see coming in comparison to what was happening in primarily Western Europe and especially in Germany, when they had a very similar situation to migrant crisis. All of a sudden, millions of people just showed up at the doorstep of Germany. And then all these different NGOs, these nonprofits, private businesses, law practices, uh, immigration law offices, all of a sudden started to get propped up by the German government because of all the services they were providing for these people. And basically, anytime there's an emergency, the government doesn't know what to do. And they start splashing money at anything and everything possible. And what ends up happening is private businesses start noticing this, organizations start noticing this, and they all have their hands out. And once their hands are out and the government starts feeding them, they don't ever want it to stop. The cash cow of the government recklessly spending to support people who may not even supposed to be in this country will just endlessly keep going on. And this is a new migrant economy that's now existing in this country. And it's especially flourishing in New York City. And I truly believe this is just the beginning of it. We're now going to start seeing the shifting for private entities to cater to migrants because the government is allowing them to. The government is providing endless amounts of cash to make sure this happens. And even worse, the government's willing to cut services, to use tax dollars that should be used to support American citizens, all of a sudden taken away for the benefits uh, for American citizens, especially the people who are in the most vulnerable in our country and within New York City, to use for the migrants who may not actually be here legally. The failed policies of the Biden administration has created this, but the cluelessness of the Adams administration is going to allow this to flourish.